Get ready to be amazed because we're about to reveal the incredible training secrets that turn these players into legends. But first, let me ask you this. Can you guess how many hours a day these athletes spend on their training routines? Now let's get started. Maria Sharapova. She is six feet, two inches tall, breathtakingly attractive and fit. The secret to her lean, supermodel-like physique is hard work. Nevertheless, she occasionally experiences anxiety and tension, particularly when she is not feeling her best. She says, My trainer, Yutaka Nakamura, or one of my coaches, and I exercise five or six times a week for six hours each day. Tennis professionals must devote a lot of time to their sport. Lean muscle might start to deteriorate if you take more than three days off. Stretching, a beach warm-up run, two hours of tennis practice, core work, Pilates, and interval training on the bike or on hills and sand dunes make up her fitness regimen. Her ritual for reviving energy is having weekly sports massages and ice and hot baths. She also includes lavender essential oil and Epsom salts. She uses sports massage therapy as part of her monthly self-care regimen to unwind her tense muscles. Sharapova also shared this Instagram video of herself exercising on a soul cycle. Her workout gear includes a head racket, a pair of leggings, and a sports bra. Sharapova exercises regularly to keep in shape. She works out daily because she loses muscle mass if she goes out for over three days without working out. She works out with her trainer Yutaka Nakamura for six hours daily, five or six days weekly. Sharapova also participates in salsa lessons and performs circuit training and strength training twice a week. Her thing is the morning workout, and she gets going as early as 7 a.m. Ega Svantec. Now, we'll take a deeper look at Ega Svantec training routine and how she's able to sustain such a high level of performance. This young Polish star has been making waves in the tennis world with her outstanding talents on the court. Talented tennis star Iga Svantec, 21, has been in the news since she won the French Open 2020. So what does Iga's exercise regimen entail? Well, it combines agility exercises, aerobic activity, and strength training. Iga begins her routine with a dynamic stretching session to prepare her muscles for the next activity. She then warms up with a light jog. She continues with strength training exercises that emphasize developing stability and strength. Iga does weight training with cardio to increase her stamina and endurance. Running, cycling, or rowing are frequently used, and the intensity of these activities is adjusted to meet her unique demands and objectives. Iga then completes a set of agility exercises to assist her in developing her speed and response time on the court. Of course, Iga differs from the competitors in more ways than simply her level of physical state. She is a pro at the mental aspect of the game as well. Iga is renowned for her ability to maintain composure and concentration under pressure. In order to support maintaining this degree of mental clarity, Iga spends time each day doing visualization and mindfulness techniques that help her stay present and focus her concentration on the task at hand. Svantec utilizes her forehand as a tool to direct the action on the court and the flow of points. She concentrates heavily on her grip, making sure to hold the racket in a way that allows her to generate the most amount of speed and spin. Shivantek practices a variety of forehand drills to enhance her forehand, including forehand ground strokes, forehand volleys, and forehand approaches. In order to position herself for a successful stroke, she also practices her footwork. Before going on to the GOAT Novak Djokovic and the The Rising Start, Carlos Alcaraz makes sure to smash that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more of our content. Novak Djokovic when Novak Djokovic often experienced fatigue between matches, he felt that one of the causes may be asthma. Even though this wasn't the case, it exposed him to activities like yoga and meditation, which enhance breathing capacity, and as a result, stamina and endurance. He also started practicing Tai Chi, a martial technique that improves agility, balance, and flexibility, all of which are useful on the court. Novak Djokovic properly stretches his entire body before beginning his daily tennis practice. This makes his movements on the court more fluid and seamless by removing the stiffness that is built up in the muscles after eight hours of sleep. Stretching exercises are followed by full-fledged training battles that can easily last two hours or longer with a partner. After eating lunch and resting after his morning tennis practice, Novak Djokovic goes to the gym late afternoon for weight and resistance training. This is due to the fact that professional tennis players need tremendous arm and shoulder strength 
in addition to stamina and endurance to hit the aces that fly down to the baseline during competitions. Novak performs a variety of exercises for this, including bench presses, tricep pull-downs, and push-ups. Moreover, you need a strong lower body and excellent balance to run across the court as swiftly as he does. Box jumps, side lunges, and barbell squats are some of the activities he does for the same. Regeneration is a subject that Novak emphasizes a lot. He is aware that if you don't respect your body at times of fatigue or illness by allowing it time to recover, your body won't respect you when you're not competing. His pre- and post-match recuperation routine includes foam roller workouts, including lower and upper back rolls, hamstrings, quadriceps, and calf and shoulder rolls. Apart from training, Novak maintains a healthy diet. Anything containing gluten was eliminated from Novak's diet. Additionally, he has significantly reduced his consumption of sugar and dairy. Carlos Alcars. As Carlos's talent blossomed, so did his commitment to the game. Currently, his training routine is nothing short of awe-inspiring. He follows a rigorous daily schedule, starting with early morning fitness workouts, including strength and conditioning exercises, agility drills, and cardio training. These workouts lay the groundwork for his impressive on-court speed and endurance. Carlos also practices inertia training, flywheel training. According to research, exercising inertia with the extremities can improve the serve velocity, SV, of young tennis players. Additional study is needed to determine their potential effectiveness, especially when loading a dominant side more heavily than a non-dominant limb. The next training method used by Carlos is elastic bands training. One of the greatest advantages of elastic bands is their portability, making them ideal for on-the-go workouts. From upper body exercises like bicep curls and shoulder presses to lower body movements like squats and lunges, elastic bands offer a comprehensive workout experience. Elastic bands are excellent tools for strength training. They can be seamlessly integrated into traditional exercises like push-ups, squats, and deadlifts, adding an extra dimension of resistance. The bands engage in stabilizing muscles, enhancing core strength, and improving overall balance and coordination. By incorporating elastic bands into your strength training routine, you'll notice significant gains in muscle tone and strength. While elastic bands are fantastic for strength training, they are equally valuable for improving flexibility and mobility. Various medicine ball tosses and throwing technique drills are part of Carlos Alcaraz's training. This understanding of Carlos Alcaraz's medicine ball training also demonstrates that it is not only useful in the weight room, but also tactically on the court. These legendary athletes have shown us that there are no shortcuts to success. Each one of them has invested countless hours perfecting their craft, pushing their bodies to the limits, and honing their mental resilience to overcome challenges and setbacks. So before going on to our next video on the left side, make sure to smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below.